day two of the conference saw very critical discussions put in place by the various commissions to drive the conference towards its final resolutions. Now, a summary of the discussions from the previous day's commissions were presented during the morning session of day two. And these commissions include the Commission on Gender Struggles to End Patriarchy, the Commission on Food Sovereignty, Agroecology, and the Defense of Nature, as well as the Commission on Urban Struggles for Dignified Housing. Here's a progress report by the facilitators of these three commissions on the nature of the discussions in the various commissions and the way forward. Il a été désigné comme président de la commission contribution et construction plutôt du socialisme à la souveraineté alimentaire, la préservation de la nature et l'agroécologie. Alors la question aujourd'hui qui se pose c'est quelle est notre vision de l'agriculture. Premièrement, pour le socialisme, la souveraineté alimentaire est primordiale. La souveraineté alimentaire suppose avoir le choix de ce qu'on produit, produire ce qu'on consomme, consommer ce qu'on produit, avoir la politique de sa production, la commercialisation, la distribution à la souveraineté alimentaire. Donc être maître de la production alimentaire de son pays. Alors c'est un challenge, c'est un défi, c'est un dilemme pour l'Afrique, un dilemme pour l'humanité, parce que même les résolutions sont claires, il faut récupérer les terres, il faut récupérer les terres, il faut engager une politique de restructuration de l'agriculture en préservant la nature, parce que le capitalisme est là pour détruire la nature. Et en utilisant toute l'énergie possible, toutes les forces possibles, toute l'intelligence possible des Africains pour arriver à une agriculture qui, 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 qui préserve la nature, qui nourrit la population, qui préserve la nature et qui sert aussi la population mondiale. I was in the Commission for Gender Struggles to End Patriarchy. And of course, a lot of things uh, transpired within the, the commission, but mainly we first had the theoretical framework to understand uh, the women oppression within our society. And one thing that came out clearly is that uh, patriarchy uh, works hand in hand with capitalism. Actually, capitalism reinforces uh, patriarchy. So that is one thing that we had to understand. And along with it, that women face double oppression, so within the work sphere and also the domestic and the social, um, with the cultural aspects and the related. Now the commission uh, went ahead to give uh, the way forward, or rather way forward towards the concrete solutions that we have to achieve. And I'll just summarize them in three points. So one was on the question of organization. So organizing women, and it was all agreed that we first need to mobilize and organize uh, um, women within our progressive organizations so that we also have uh, women militants within uh, the organizations who are able to push forward the agenda um, uh, of fighting all these oppressive systems, patriarchy, neoliberalism, capitalism, neocolonialism, and, and, and all of them. And the other question which also came up is starting within our very same organizations to make sure that uh, there's equality uh, of genders in all the ranks of the progressive organizations that we're working on, that women within the organization sh should start to feel that they are actually in the emancipated uh, spaces because their rights are all taken uh, on board, different from how they, they would feel in some other bourgeoisie organizations. And the last one, uh, if not least, was now to make sure that we take this message uh, outside in the mobilizing and organizing women in the grassroots. And I, I want to stress on this one, uh, one of the points which was uh, made by, by Comrade um, Sumali, to try to explain and understand feminism from our own perspective, 
from the perspective of the working class women that we're going to, uh, to organize uh, down there. And we should follow women where they are and organize from their working spaces. And that is the only way we'll be able, well, first to win their hearts as women, but also win the whole working class um, um, uh, people. We were in a commission that dealt with the question of urban struggles for dignified housing. The different experiences that were brought by comrades from different countries, we were common around one issue that indeed the issue of housing is critical, but where are you going to build a house if you don't have a plot of land, proper uh, plot of land? So as we continue to analyze, we immediately agree that there needs to be program beyond the statements that we say. And part of those programs, uh, we emphasize the need of political education amongst our masses. The, the immediate need for the masses to realize the importance of land, that land is a driver of all struggles. Land will address many issues that remain unresolved. But we immediately also say that we need to set up working class cooperatives that are going to address affordable housing. I mean, if you talk, we are talking of urbanization, masses moving out of rural areas and so on and so forth. In pursuit of greener pastures, they look for housing. And that housing is not provided for by the state because the state is pursuing neoliberalism, austerity measures. We also had comrades from Abashali Basem John in our commission, whom this for them is a sensitive matter, that they have lost comrades. And amongst of the program, we said we must begin to defend ourselves against the onslaught of the state and the, in the capitalist machinery. Now, delegates and participants then joined the three commissions for day two of the conference to contribute their quota towards preferring socialist solutions for the many challenges facing the thematic areas for the day, which include the access to quality education, the access to quality health care and employment. The commissions were on Building the future of the youth through quality education for immigration, the demand for health, science and technology as a matter of dignity, and on organizing the workers employed, unemployed, organized and unorganized. The final reports from these commissions from day two will be presented on day three of the conference. For Pan-African Television and People's Dispatch, this is a Makiza Latifa report. Thank <laughs> you.